What's up guys? Most of the time you spend watching or playing Astroneer is likely spent in-game. But there is a lot more to the game, particularly in the area of the game saves. With a decent knowledge about the file system, you can erase some mistakes, back up your games to avoid future mistakes, share your game saves with other people, and even download and play their game saves for yourself. But don't be alarmed, it's a lot easier than you think, and it can pay off big time. First, when you begin a brand new game in Astroneer, it creates a new save slot in the game. And you can save that game while you're playing or when you're leaving so that you can always come back to the most recent version. Now, understand that for every save that you see in game, there is a corresponding file on your computer. To find it, open up your file explorer and click on this PC. Click local disk C, users, and then your name. At this point, you'll need to find the app data folder. If you don't see it, go up to the top, click view, and then click the hidden items box. Once you open app data, click local, astro, saved, and finally another hidden folder, save games. Another way to find the save games folder is by using this expression here. You can copy it from my description and paste it into the bar on the top of your file explorer. Hit enter and you're good to go. Once you find this folder, you'll probably be coming back often so it's a good idea to create a shortcut for easy access. Click Pin to Quick Access up at the top left, and now every time you open up File Explorer, it's right there in Quick Access. Alternatively, click on the Saved folder at the top, right-click Save Games, and drop down to Create Shortcut. This will create a shortcut that you can put anywhere on your computer, like your desktop. But let's get back to the game saves. In the Save Games folder, you can see that all these files correspond with your saves in-game, Notice the number assigned to each save. The number shown on the file is one whole number lower than the number of its in-game counterpart. For example, autosave 0 is the file for in-game save 1, and autosave 5 is the file for in-game save 6. Every time you save a game, it creates a new file in the folder using this same format. Each one of these files is considered a different version of that game save, regardless of how much the save changed between them. And to prevent you from amassing an overwhelming number of versions of a single game save, your computer will automatically delete old ones as you create new ones, keeping only the two most recent versions. And for every autosave with two versions, the older one will be at the top and the newer one on bottom, so long as they're arranged alphabetically. And every time you resume a game save in Astroneer, it will automatically run the most recent version, the one on bottom. Now that you have a basic understanding of the system, we can start to talk about some of the uses. Say you've got some dynamite, and you're just casually walking around your most prized creation. Well, one thing leads to another, and you accidentally blow the entire thing up. And you probably wish you hadn't, uh, you hadn't done that. Well, no worries. If you look in your autosave folder, it'll have a version where your creation is still intact. And, since Astroneer always runs the most recent version of autosaves, all you need to do is delete or remove any autosaves that you've created since the mistake. Immediately after you've made your mistake, you have two options. First, you can open up the menu and click Save and Exit. This will exit the game and save a new file in which your creation is blown up. But you probably want to run the version that doesn't have a big hole in your base. So, delete the new one, fire up Astroneer again, and when you play the autosave, it will automatically run the correct version. The second option is pretty similar. You still exit the game, but you do so by opening up your task manager and hitting End Task on Astroneer. This will close the app without it saving. Open Astroneer again, fire up the save, and you're good to go. No need to open the autosave folder. This can save you from a lot of mistakes. However, if it's been a while since you've saved, you'll lose everything else you've done since that save in addition to the mistake. That said, it's a good idea to save often to avoid losing a lot of work, especially when you're working on very precise projects that you really don't want to mess up. Or blow up. Now, if you're like me, you've probably built lots of game saves over time. Lots. And like me, you probably didn't have them organized. But there are a couple easy ways of doing it, and I'll show you my favorite. First, open a new folder on your computer, it doesn't matter where. You can even put it right here in your save games folder for ease of access. In this new folder, you'll have to create additional folders for each save that you plan on keeping. You can give them names or numbers or both, whatever helps you keep track of them best. Every time you want to back up a save, it's as simple as copying the current version, 
and pasting it into the folder that corresponds with that save. Usually when I'm playing, I try to do this every 30 minutes to an hour. The more you do it, the less chance there is of losing progress in that save. But as time goes on, you'll probably end up with many versions of a single save. You can organize them however you like, and if you're happy with what you've done in the recent versions, you can safely dispose of the majority of your old ones. And if there is ever an issue where you mess up both versions of a save within the autosave folder, delete them and simply copy the most recent version from your backups and paste it in there. To make your backups even more secure, you can utilize a cloud-based service to make your backups available anywhere and anytime. I'm a big fan of Google Drive, but programs like Box, Dropbox, OneDrive, and plenty others should work fine, and they usually offer some sort of free plan that has more than enough space for your backups. Essentially what you need to do is have your service sync a folder on your computer with a folder in your cloud, and you'll use this folder as your backups folder. For me, I created a folder for backups in my Google Drive. Then I downloaded the Backup and Sync app, and in Preferences, I chose to sync that folder to my computer. But since I wanted it accessible from within my Save Games folder, I created a shortcut and placed it in there. Now that I've covered an efficient system for backing up your saves, it's time for the easy part, sharing your saves. You can send the file to people using Discord or even just emailing it. But if you do it a lot, you might find it easier to use a sharing link that's built into your cloud backups. In Google Drive, for example, I just right-click on the folder I want to share, click Share, and now anyone I send this link to can download what's in this folder. I can even choose whether or not I want to give people editing permissions. On the receiving end of the file, all anyone has to do is download the file and drag it into their Save Games folder. Now if, for example, they receive an Autosave 3 but they already have an Autosave 3, they'll need to move their current one elsewhere before moving the new one in. From there, well, you guys know what to do. I should also mention that it's best to play a game save in the same version of the game that it was built. Playing an old save in a new version of the game could result in a lot of unwanted bugs and glitches. And I haven't yet been able to play a new save in an old version of the game. All in all, it's probably a good idea to just stick to the current version. I hope what you learned in this video will help a lot in your Astroneer experience. However, you have to keep in mind that Astroneer is approaching its 1.0 release, and certain parts of this system could change with the addition of dedicated servers and many other updates to the game. That said, thanks for watching the video. If I missed anything or you still have questions, head to the comments section down below, and you can always find me in the Not Squad Discord. If you enjoyed the video, you might like some of my other content, so after you like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, make sure you check out some of my other videos as well as my live streams over on Twitch. And if you'd really like to help out the channel, there are a couple more links down in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.